Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, FFmpeg users will probably at one point of time or another want to speed up or slow down video. Um, well, there are a couple of ways to do it, right? But what FFmpeg really likes to do most of the time is to, well, keep the timing of your video accurate. What this means is the intuitive thing, at least to me, uh, of changing the frame rates will not change the actual speed of the video. They will drop frames or duplicate frames as needed to, well, get to your frame rates without changing the speed. So yeah, if you're gonna do time lapses, that's not the way to do it, uh, and as I found out the hard way. So what is the right way? Well, as it turns out, there is a filter called Set PTS, and uh, the way it works is a little bit interesting. So let's delve a little bit deeper to try and understand how it works. PTS stands for Presentation Timestamp. And yeah, it basically just means time, all right? So the idea is that you want to set the current presentation timestamp of wherever you are in the video to a different place with respect to the original presentation timestamp. Pause. In this video, I make it sound like PTS and time are exactly the same, but they're not. Practically, this doesn't change anything about how we think about PTS, but do note that it's a slightly different number. More on this later. So if you were to write something like this, right, then you're saying that the current timestamp is the same as the original timestamp. This means, of course, that the speed of the video will stay the same, right, because the two timestamps are synchronized. However, things start to get interesting when you start doing math on this. As it turns out, this is a mathematical expression. Let's try and tweak up this number and see what happens. Let's do a 0 0.5 times that, so we are halving the value. Now, what that means is the current time will be half of the original time. To use a concrete timing, say the 10 second mark of the video will get mapped to the five second mark of your new video, right? What that means is a one minute video becomes a 30 second video. What this means is things will happen twice as fast because time is going half as quickly. Hopefully, it's not too difficult to understand. We're mapping the 10 second mark to the 5th second mark. All timings get mapped to half. So yeah, effectively, we are doubling the speed of the video. In fact, yeah, that's the idea. That's the, that's the whole video in a nutshell, right? Whatever factor you put in front of it will either stretch out or squeeze the timing. Obviously, if you want to slow the video down, you want to use a factor greater than one. The idea is that you are changing the time, right, by a constant factor. The set PTS filter works with more variables than just PTS. For example, you can work with the actual frame number, and what we call the time base, which is essentially a multiplier for the PTS. Anyway, going back to the time lapse example, we can write a statement like this, which basically sets the new frame rates for our time lapse. In this one, I'm asking for a thousand frames to go by every second, essentially greatly speeding up my time lapse. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what the set PTS filter is for. It's just there to stretch or shift the time of your video. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with Nerdverse.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.